Hello, hello, welcome back to the iLog channel. My name is Casey, and thank you so much for joining me for another episode of my Minecraft survival series. And I have a couple goals for this episode. Goal number one is I want to put together an Enderman farm uh, in the end so I can have a huge source of XP now that I have mending on all my equipment. Uh, having a source of just like a ton of XP is going to be really, really useful. And I want to put together the map room in my uh, castle mansion thing. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go, but I know that I have most of the materials that I'll need for it. Just a lot of dark oak, mostly. But the thing I want to do first is start getting all the materials together that I'm going to need for the Enderman farm. And then I'm going to put that together in the start of the episode and then uh, we'll go on and build the map room so i'm gonna gather some materials and then i'll see you uh in the end dimension all right and i've gotten all my materials gathered here and I'm out here on the farthest out edge of the end island, or at least the one that's closest to my entrance, which is uh, quite lucky that my entrance is so close to the uh, furthest out edge here. And I'm using a farm design from uh, Shulkercraft on YouTube. I'll make sure to uh, leave a link to them in the description. You can go check out the video, the channel, whatever. Um... I hope I don't have to name the name tag. And then I can just name something name tag. I hope that works. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to get to work building this thing. I won't be able to do a, a, a replay mod time lapse as it hasn't been updated to 1.20.6 yet. Or at least last time I checked it wasn't. Uh, and I am on 1.20.6 pretty much every other mod I was using uh, was updated so it was uh, possible for me to update so I might try uh, looking for some of the uh, new wolves in this episode as well but I make no promises on that happening <laughs> all right so I've just finished up the uh, enderman farm up top here oh no there's some uh, extra miscellaneous dirt there we go. And uh, I ended up modifying the design from the uh, Shulker Farm. Is that what it was called? Shulker Craft. Sorry, from the Shulker Craft channel. I ended up modifying it slightly and incorporating more of the uh, iJevin Season Hermitcraft Season 10 design. So it's sort of a mixture of the Shulker Craft Channel design and the iJevin design. Which actually, looking at the Shulker Craft Channel description, it just links to an iJevin video as the source for the design. So, I'll just say that this is the, uh, the iJevin design. I'll still link both videos in the description. But yeah, this is pretty much the uh, <laughs> iJevin farm. But now, I can just uh, gather up all my materials here and this should be all good to go and I'll just start taking out these torches I don't know if you'll be able to see it no you can't see it even if I free cam no can't see it um but I named the endermite feature uh, it turns out you do have to put a name tag oh no I forgot the trapdoors push these two in okay and then hopefully yep they're all living down there let me uh whoa what's going on here whoa what 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 why are these guys mad at me where did i look at these guys or when oh geez okay Oh, it's because I looked down the chute, and I probably looked right at the top of them. Okay. Um, let me go over here, I guess. 
Will they follow me here? <laughs> Slowly making my way down. That explains why they got aggroed. Okay. Oh. Well, they are one hit. So that works. Oh man, this is precarious. <laughs> but now... There should always be Enderman here. I may, uh, secure up this path a little bit at some point. Alright. Oh. Wow. That is loud. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to put a, uh, a chest over here somewhere. For the, uh, excess Ender Pearls. There we go case I ever need extra, right? And then I think I'll also... There's my ender chest. And I will build out... Oh, wait. St are stone walls a thing? Oh, I can make stone brick walls. Okay, cool. And I'll take the leaves. And I think these have to be leaf blocks because endermen can't spawn on them. But I'll just build this out. Hope I brought enough leaves. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to show off the uh, farm. And why are there Endermen out here? They shouldn't be able to get there. I wonder if I just had to carpet up this area because they were spawning over here, which I thought they couldn't spawn on redstone. Um, so maybe one teleported from over there. But anyway, oh, interesting. They're teleporting down. I may have to waterlog the leaf blocks out to a certain point. Because I know they can't teleport onto those. And for some reason, some of these guys aren't staying angry at the Endermite. Interesting. What if I kill all of them? Okay, so more aren't going to spawn. Unless I kill the ones that are down there. Noted. Oh, look at that. They're just going. Oh yeah, wow, it like hits its own mob cap before too long. Cool. Let me get rid of those pearls. And... I need to figure out what I'm going to do with all these guys here. I could carpet the whole thing. I don't think they can teleport on top of carpet. Maybe? Oh, those, those were one-hit kills. Which means they fell from the dropper thing and then teleported out. How strange. wonder where they came from. Because they shouldn't be able to spawn on leaf blocks. I don't know if they can teleport on top of carpet, but if they're teleporting from somewhere else, then hopefully this will stop that from happening. Fill the inventory up with torches. Got everything out of there, and back in here. It's so loud. <laughs> I already filled up this whole chest with ender pearls, so I definitely won't run out anytime soon. Not that I use them often, but they can be a nice kind of like, get out of somewhere quick thing, you know? So I want to come back up here. Okay, yeah, we're still getting some that just don't want to be aggressive anymore. I don't know if that's because I placed uh, the Endermite on slabs instead of on uh, iron bars or fences. Maybe they can't quite see it. Let me, uh gather up some iron bars and see if that helps. All right, so I was just thinking about it. I have it on slabs and I think the slabs are lower block slabs, not upper block. So if I put iron bars here, yeah, it's not gonna work because I'd have to find a way to raise the minecart. And if I lower it, then the Enderman won't come through. Interestingly, I just witnessed um, some Enderman come in and one of them stopped. It tried to like jump and hit its head on the slab and then it stopped and then it kind of walked away, but then it caught sight of the Endermite again and came back. So I don't think I need to uh, use that. I think I should be good. Let's come down here. And I do want to place some anvils here. I don't know if Endermen can spawn on anvils. I'm assuming not. But just in case, I'm going to put carpet on top of them. Uh, and then I'll probably need to 
make the wall taller here too so I don't accidentally jump off. Let's see, is that, can you jump? Oh, you can kind of jump there, but I just want to make this idiot proof. Oh wait, with the, okay, with the carpet, you still can't jump up, that's good. Interesting. All right, I have a bunch of uh, things I want to rename but the XP cost is so high that it was not letting me uh, rename them. But now I should be able to. So I want to rename the sword. Let's go. Okay, yeah, look at that, 39 <laughs> levels for that. Uh, what do I want to name it? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll do that. Stabical. It looks like stab, stabacil, but it is stabical. Maybe I can make that more obvious. Stabical. <laughs> and then the pickaxe is already renamed. The those are renamed. All right, leggings. How much were these? Okay, another thirty-two. So, won't take me long to get those levels back up. Alrighty, and only not much longer later. This thing is amazingly quick. All my gear is renamed. I have my boots called In Those Shoes. I have my leggings, which are legs for days. My chest plate is Wish You All the Chest. <laughs> uh, and then my helmet is Prosthetic Forehead. Because everybody wants a prosthetic forehead on their real head. My uh, elytra is Fly Me to the Moon. I have O oh Fortuna and silk sonic as my pickaxes can i axe you a question as my axe dig it as the shovel and stabical as the sword i could also rename my bow but i pretty much hardly ever use it it also doesn't have mending because i'd rather have infinity instead of mending and yeah i just want to get my levels up back to like at least 30 just to have because why not i have all this xp might as well use it. And then I'm going to head back over to the castle mansion thing and start work on the map room. So I'll see you back over there. So I realized as I was starting to get things prepped to work on the map room that uh, my netherite hoe doesn't have mending on it and it doesn't have a, a funny little name. So I'm going to fly on over to this village to visit the mending villager that I have holed up in that... uh castle tower church thing uh, hopefully i have enough emeralds i can't quite remember how many i need to do this hello oh i need 23 ha okay let me see here how could i get more emeralds uh, i can trade rotten flesh for emeralds don't have any of that I'm trying to remember what i did before oh you know what that's right i sold a whole bunch of coal it's also flint. Let me, let me go see what my uh, coal and flint supply is looking like. And then I'll try to trade for a bunch of emeralds there. Then I'll get mending. And here we are, coming in pretty hot. Woo! Whoa! Alright. Got a bunch of coal for ya. Isn't there supposed to be a command to, like... Oh, he has to restock. Oh, I got plenty of emeralds, though. I might just still wait for uh, wait for the restock and just get a few more. Because if I can get... I don't know if I'll have enough to get two mending books. But if I could get like an extra mending book, that would be pretty great. Oh, look at that. Restocked. Okay. Now I think it says that the... I've read that they can restock twice a day. Or up to twice a day. So maybe there'll be one more restock before uh before too long here oh wrong thing do the thing i'm not watching i'm not watching just do the did you do the thing nope it's okay don't worry about it are you doing the thing where, where are you going you should you should really uh restock you know i think that would be um really really great if you did you know uh-huh 
not actually entirely sure how this works. You know, it's funny because I have that carpet generator for my furnace. I don't really use that much coal. I pretty much only use it for torches. So it's a, been a really great way to get emeralds is to just utilize this villager. There we are. Nice. So I should have enough for two mending books. Let me just get up here. The only way into this uh, house here, church thing, whatever it is, is through the top. I mob-proofed it. Hello. Can I get two of these? Thank you. Uh -huh, indeed. You have a good day now. I don't know why I need an extra mending book, but now, in case I need one, I have one. All right, so let me just get the uh, mending on the hoe, and then I'll also go rename it. Hopefully I'll be able to, you know what, I should probably rename it before I put mending, because it might be cheaper. It might actually cost more to rename. Let's see. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And only three... Wow. I feel like the reason they were so expensive on the uh, pieces of armor was because I had repaired them a bunch before. Uh, they were based on diamond armor, anyway, that I had repaired. And uh, when you repair things in an anvil, there's just like this exponential repair cost increase. Which is honestly really annoying. I feel like... I mean, I guess it acts as a way to encourage the use of mending. You know? But still. Alright, let's stick those back in there. Now on to the map room. Alright, so I think I've decided I want to put the map room up here in the uh, attic space. Or at least this kind of main part of the attic that's right above the uh, entrance and has the stained glass looking out. It kind of feels like it makes sense for an area where there's going to be like, you know, a map <laughs> for there to be like a window for you to look out at where the map, you know, is displaying. And so now it's just kind of a process of laying everything out, figuring out what I want how I want to like divide everything up. I wonder if it look better like that. Maybe we'll see about that. But yeah, I think for now I want to focus on blocking out these areas. I think I'm going to cover up these areas here. I thought I was going to like do something with them, but I think now they might just be like <laughs> empty space because I'm not really sure what to uh, put in there and I need to figure out where I want the kind of edge of this wall to be because I think instead of going all the way back here it should go up to where like the roof line would make sense there's one of those endermen that are always placing random blocks in here what are you doing Stop that. Yeah, get up here. Come on. Or can you not do that? Come on. I'm sick of you causing trouble in my castle mansion house thing. Or don't teleport up here. That's also fine, too. Maybe what I'll do is wherever this attic ends up going, like, in the future, whether it goes out, like, continues in the rest of the roof space. I'll have some kind of, like, area for you to get into here. And then you can walk through wherever the wall ends up being here. It'll go through, and then you can go around into here. And it'll be kind of like an extra secret little walkway thing. Alright, so this is how I've blocked out those areas. And so I guess the idea will be... In the future, there'll be something back here, some kind of secret thing, maybe, at some point. 
And then uh, really, I think all that's left for the main structure is I want to make the sort of inside part of the roof from here where it goes up and just fill in this whole upper area with that. Let me get up there more easily. Um, I'll just use stone brick. <laughs> I thought I had scaffolding on me. There's some in my ender chest, but I don't feel like grabbing it. You know what? Let me get on top of here. There we go. Wow, this is a uh, tight space. Still going to put torches on top. I don't want to risk anything spawning in here. There is not a lot of space up here. I wonder if I could get in. Hmm. Nah, that's not going to work. Hmm. Oh, I don't have my elytra on. That's why that didn't work. Guess I could always just do this kind of thing. All right, let me try this again. There's probably a much easier solution to this, but I'm just going to keep trying this. <gasps> oh, let's go. <laughs> okay, now how do I get onto there? I didn't... I didn't think this through. I thought I could fit... Uh... <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know how to get, like, elevated from here. And if I break either of these, I'm just going to go back into standing. <gasps> oh, it worked! Ho, 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 ho! Look at that. Problem solving at its finest. Except for now, I don't know if I can build all throughout here as easily. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right. I wonder if I should do like a trim of stairs around the edge. No, I feel like that's too crowded. If anything, these blocks should be stairs. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, that does look better. Let's see. How many stairs can I make? All right, so now I've gotten all the uh, roof stuff in, gotten these walls filled in, and I'm just filling in this wall over here. Oh no! Uh, just filling in this wall over here. And this is going to be the map display. I'll just start placing in these glow item frames. One more layer of there we go. Bring that around. And now, all the various maps can get displayed. Now let's see if I can remember the right order for these. That. That goes over there. That one over there. There there and there I feel like it should be up higher like that there we go and then that gives room to fill in other things whatever I end up putting around here there's a little map table in the middle with a cartography table on the side and this is just where I guess the map makers would draw out the maps. And yeah, I think this is pretty good. Do I need these torches just in the middle of the room? How dark is it? Up here, it doesn't look too dark. Looks fine. And that's right. That can go there. And uh, I may come back in here and add some like extra details at some point. I may even have like other maps get displayed on like these wall panels uh, instead of just this one. There we go. That's better. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is pretty good. Let me uh, switch that out. There we go. And that's this part of the attic finally done. Not sure what's going to happen over here or back around here, if anything at all. Can mobs spawn there? Hold, hold on a second. Let me sneak around and put an extra torch. 
Well, I think that's going to finish things up here for today. Uh, If you liked this episode, please consider clicking the old like button down there. Helps out the channel a lot when you do that. And if you want to see more of this series and more of the other content that I create, uh, you can click that old subscribe button too and check the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload. And yeah, with all that being said, I'm Casey from the iLog channel. Thank you so much for watching. And this is me signing out. Bye now. Bye now.